For homework question 8.20, we're told to draw the most stable Lewis structure for SF4, 2 minus, and determine the formal charge on sulfur. All right, so step one, we need to figure out all the valence electrons that we have to assign. So sulfur, we've got sulfur, sulfur is group six, so it has six valence electrons. We've got four fluorines, which have seven valence electrons each, because fluorine is group seven. Right, just like sulfur is group six. So fluorine, seven valence electrons each. That's 28 total valence electrons we have to assign from fluorine. And then we can't forget the minus two charge. The minus two charge need, means we need to add in two extra electrons. So that takes our total to 36 electrons that we have to assign. We're gonna put sulfur in the center, and then we've got four fluorines. So one, two, three, four fluorines there. So we had 36 electrons. I just assigned eight electrons as bonding electrons. So that means we've got 28 electrons left. So the next thing we're gonna do is fill the lone pair of fluorine, so each fluorine needs six more. So there's six, there's 12, there's 18, and there's 24 electrons. So 28 minus 24, we've got four electrons left. Those last four electrons, they're going to be assigned to sulfur because I've got a full octet on fluorine, so I can't assign any more electrons there. Um, I do have eight electrons assigned to sulfur, but sulfur can break the octet rule. So I can assign one, two, three, four more electrons to sulfur, giving it a total of 12 electrons. Now for the formal charge on sulfur. All right, sulfur, like I said, is group six. And when we count the formal charge, we count all non-bonding electrons. So I've got two electrons there and two electrons there assigned to sulfur. So that's four electrons so far. And then we count one electron for each bond. So I've got four electrons that are bonding that are assigned to sulfur. One, two, three, four. And then I've got one, two, three, four that are non-bonding for a total of eight electrons that are assigned to sulfur. So six minus eight, right? The charge on sulfur ends up being minus two. And that was my daughter chiming in her two cents on addition and subtraction.